Hello, I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby, and here a special guest appearance is Mally. In the next few minutes I'd like to try and show you around number four Sea View Terrace. Now they don't call it Sea View Terrace for nothing as you can see by the view that you've got right over there. I'm up on Dinas Oli and it's actually the first area of land ever acquired by the National Trust. So it's a spectacular environment up here and the house actually backs onto it and you can see the brand new roof of 4 Sea View Terrace that was put on during 2010. So I'm up here with the seagulls, carry on watching and I'll show you a bit more around the house. There's actually two entrances to 4 Sea View Terrace. This is the one that comes straight off of Dinas Oli. But the main access from the town is up this narrow lane. You can see the house at the top there and this leads you up to the front door. So you've got to appreciate there's no car parking near the property. Come on Rube, let's go up and have a look. Good girl. Once you're up here, it's really worth having made the ascent because obviously the view is fantastic, you're well away from the traffic and there's not much more than the sound of seagulls and the waves in the distance here. There is parking down below, in fact you can see the town car park just down there and you can get a seasonal annual pass to use that for only £125 per year. So that's pretty affordable and convenient. Since the current owners acquired the property back in about 2007, they've done lots of maintenance and a huge amount of separate improvements as well. This includes having re-roofed the property, rewired it, I think there's been a new central heating boiler put in, and that's in addition to all the cosmetic improvements and things like bathroom refitting and kitchen refitting. Let's go in and I'll show you. In addition to lots of uh, recently installed UPVC double glazed windows, there's also three really nice exterior doors that have been recently installed as well. And this main front door has got electronic locking and it even talks to you. Lock open. As this is such a big house and it's on four levels, I'm going to try and deal with each level uh, on its own to make the tour a little bit quicker. Before we start, this is Clover. Clover lives here and she really enjoys the whole environment around the house. On the ground floor we've got the entrance hallway and you turn right off the hallway into the main kitchen and dining area here. Obviously you've got a big bay window with the window seat in it, original style fireplace and then out the back of the ground floor there's also a utility room with another exterior door and a downstairs WC. As we go upstairs there's this lovely original staircase that takes us right to the top floor. This is the first floor split level landing and there's actually a total of three separate toilets in the house as well as the two bathrooms. We've got one toilet on this floor here just off the landing. There's a first floor bedroom but the really lovely thing here is this first floor bay fronted lounge. This first floor lounge is big by anybody's standards and if you've got a large family or you have lots of friends and relatives come and visit there's plenty of space in here to enjoy their company. In the winter there's this easy to light modern contemporary style gas fire and in the summer the big bay window here is fantastic to sit in and read a book have some sunshine and enjoy the view as well. Whilst I'm in this room I need to point out that the wiring has been done really well here because in addition to us having been rewired there's loads of power points everywhere, lots of dimmer switch controls and 5 amp circuit in here to control all the side lighting. In the bathrooms there's some really nice spot lighting too. This beautiful staircase now takes us up to the split level second floor landing. We've got a box room in here, but the marvellous thing about this landing is that there's another exterior door on the side, just when you least expect it. And this side door takes you out onto the footpath at Dina Soli, which we showed you right at the beginning of the video. Also off this second floor landing is the main family bathroom here on my right. This is fully tiled out with a good shower cubicle. 
But another one of the most impressive things about the whole of this house is this master bedroom suite. Because not only has it got all the space of this bedroom area and a terrific elevated sea view at the front here, also on the right hand side here is this beautiful open plan bathroom area with a deep bathtub, separate shower cubicle and contemporary style white suite. So we finally made it up here to the third floor at the top of the house. Just off the split level landing at the lower level, there's a toilet here. And up on the top level, there's three more bedrooms off this landing. And these have all got a different character of their own. This is the rear double bedroom with a dormer window to the back. And this is the front double bedroom, again, with a nice dormer window, which gives it a sort of cottage style and provides a sea view for you. And finally, we've got the single top floor front bedroom. So that's for Seaview Terrace in Barmouth. I hope you've enjoyed the look around. There's been so much to show you, what with the fantastic views, the countryside on your doorstep, the traffic-free environment, and such good presentation inside. We've thoroughly enjoyed going around here, haven't we, Ruby? If you'd like to come along and have a look at it for yourself, we'd be glad to hear from you. Please give us a call on the usual number, which is 01341. 281599. Similarly, I'd be glad to hear from you if you'd like me to come and make a video like this to try and get your own house sold for you too. At the end of this video, there's two links. One link that means you can subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel to see more videos that we make in the future. There's another link that takes you to a short video all about the town of Barmouth, which you might find useful. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby and we hope to be seeing you up here soon. Bye bye now.